welcome to Life Watch. Today I'm going to talk about how much money you should spend on a car. What is a good amount compared to your net income uh, that you should spend on a vehicle when you're needing to purchase a new one? <clears throat> uh, I've done a lot of research on this and it seems to be car uh, payments uh, are one of the biggest things that are holding you back from having uh, true financial independence. The, they're extremely expensive uh, cars are these days. Uh, especially for something newer, you're looking at uh, if you want something that's only a couple years old, you're at least going to be in that twenty thousand dollar mark for just about any vehicle you want. Uh, there are a few exceptions to that, of course, but for the majority of vehicles, if you want something in two or three years old, you're going to have to get over that twenty k mark. <clears throat> so, what is a good price uh, for a vehicle compared to your income? Uh, I did some research, and one article I read said that you should spend more then 15% of your bring home pay uh, on automotive and travel. That includes the car, insurance, taxes, tags, all that type of stuff. The total expense of having a vehicle to operate, except for maybe the exception of the gas. All right, so I did the math here. And if you gross 50K, uh, your roughly net income, depending on exactly what state and stuff you live in, it's gonna be about 36K. Uh, which puts you somewhere around a $3,000 a month bring home. All right, so $3,000 a month at 15%, that's $450 a month that you can allocate towards a vehicle. All right, well, you got to pay insurance on that. So I'm going to give, uh, say you're a good driver, $120 a month for full coverage insurance of that, uh, depending on what state you are and what, what minimums you have to have. Uh, that can be done for certain cars and stuff. So I'm going to say just $120 a month in insurance. So that leaves us with $330 a month uh, we can spend towards a vehicle. All right, I did an average of five years uh, for that vehicle on payments, which means you could have got a $17,000 car uh, at 6% interest for five years for $328 a month. All right, that's still quite a bit of money. That $17,000 is a lot compared to when you only make you know, 36,000 bring home. You're talking almost half of an annual income uh, that you're spending on that vehicle. And the way to depreciate, it just, it still hurts your net worth pretty bad. Uh, so my uh, philosophy is 15% uh, of your gross pay. So 15% of your 50K is about $7,500. All right, you can put that on a three year loan, I think for, uh, somewhere around 100 to 150 dollars a month i believe it's i ain't got the quite numbers in front of me exactly to look it up but uh 15 of your gross 7500 dollars. no you're not going to get a new car you're going to be looking at something probably eight to ten years old it's probably about the newest you probably be able to get and get something with lower miles on it um so that's one important thing when you're looking for a vehicle is to look for overall cost maintenance. Is it reliable? Uh, the good thing about buying an older vehicle is you can look at uh, problems that they, they had out that year. So it's 2020 right now. Say I'm looking at a uh, 2012 uh, Ford Focus or something like that. I can go through and read different reviews and issues that they have with that because there's quite a bit of data on there. Because there's people that's done but you know 300 some thousand miles on one of those cars probably. So you can go and do a lot of research and say you find one, hey, it's got 86,000 miles on it, it's $6,500. Hey, there you go. That's uh, probably gonna be a pretty reliable vehicle for you, easy on gas, the insurance won't be expensive, and it will keep uh, you from spending a fortune on vehicles. So say you did buy this $17,000 car, okay? In uh, five years, you know, that car is probably going to lose, it's, it might be a $5,000 car. Um, I made a mistake one time several years ago, and I went and bought a $6,000 car. Uh, by the time I got it paid off, I could only sell it for about $6,500. So now we are talking the course of five years, uh, that it lost, you know, two-thirds of its value. Uh, where if I say the $7,500 or $7, car here, you know, operations and everything, it's not going to be worth very much in five years either. Uh, you're going to be looking at probably like $2,000, but you're looking at a, a, a uh, 
$5,500 loss versus up here, a, you know, 10, over $10,000 loss. So you're cutting the overall uh, value or not your spend on that car in half over the course of five years, which is a huge savings. You do that over the course of a lifetime and you will easily build up your net worth to be a substantial amount. Other things to consider uh, is maintenance on the vehicle. Yes, stuff is going to break. You are going to need tires and brakes and stuff like that. Uh, if you're getting a BMW or Mercedes, you know, you're probably going to be out quite a bit in maintenance and just this stuff for like brakes and uh, overall general stuff that can go uh, wrong with the cars. Uh, it has low profile tires. Those are fairly expensive. So just keep all of that type of stuff, operating costs and cost of just wheels, tires, brakes, oil changes, whatever. Keep that in mind when you are buying the vehicle to try to get something that is, uh, would be easier to maintain. All right, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.